Hello, hello everyone. My name is Stephen Augustus and I am one of your co-chairs for KubeCon Cloud NativeCon NA Virtual. I'm here to talk to you about the Kubernetes project and we're gonna do some project updates. So let's jump into it. Now the Kubernetes project is comprised of people and we, we believe in and we care deeply for the people that uh, work on this project day to day. And I think it would be impossible to talk about what we did for the year without talking about uh, the, the 2020 of it all. And our response uh, initially to, to COVID, um, to, to dealing with uh, kind of shifting, for, for a lot of people, shifting the way they worked, shifting the way they interacted with people and uh, moving towards uh, more uh, virtual content, moving towards uh, less meetings when possible, being more accommodating about time zones, about families. Um, so hat tip to everyone in the project that, that really is involved, the sub-project owners, SIG chairs and technical leads, uh, committee members who were incredibly uh, present and conscious about uh, how people are, are kind of coping with everything that's going on in the world. And uh, to that, you may be uh, familiar with the Kubernetes.io uh, website, and uh, we put up a we put up a banner on the website uh, to to clearly disclaim that uh, racism is unacceptable. Racism it's not something that we tolerate in the project. Uh, we believe deeply in our code of conduct and enforcing it to protect uh, the members of, of this project. So again, hat tip to, uh, all of the folks that actually worked on, uh, applying, uh, the ability to, to, to give our website banners, the steering committee for, um, working, uh, with me on the messaging and, uh, and, and delivering that and, and holding, holding the line. I think that, you know, it's very, it's very easy for, um, statements, uh, that can be deemed to be political um to attract trolls and we had our fair share of that so again hat tip to uh to everyone involved code of conduct committee steering committee uh contributor experience um for taking on that burden for 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 feeling um feeling it necessary and important to to speak about uh something that's not a political issue something that is a human issue um so the chairs and technical leads uh we recently spun up uh it's not recently anymore it's been it's been quite some time now uh spun up uh chair and technical lead meetings uh so giving an opportunity for all of our uh leadership across the project uh to sit down chat in in a in a safe space um to to exchange ideas without uh any you know kind of the the, the blameless retrospectives and and the um and uh, you know having having that safe space to to uh, uh, create ideas um, that you may not feel uh, comfortable sharing publicly. Now we also started the annual report process. Uh, so the uh, steering committee kicked that off. The annual reports, essentially, uh, starting with the working groups, having uh, annual check-ins for each of these governance groups, giving us an opportunity to get a a, a better feedback loop. Um, between uh, the, the, the groups that exist in our community and the wider community. It's very easy to kind of operate in a, in a vacuum um, if, you are, uh, if you don't have uh, you know, the chance to, to, to speak about all the, the accomplishments that you've been doing and, and, and also um, and spread that out to, to the community. So, so great, great work there. Um, all of the all of the moderators, again, going back into uh, just handling um, handling all of the, the various uh, all of the various properties that we own across uh, Twitter, across the, the website, across Discuss. Um, hat tip to everyone, uh, YouTube, Zoom, uh, for making uh, everything that we do uh, safe to do and and and, and welcoming. Now. Speaking of Twitter, we've added the uh, Kate's Contributors 
uh, Twitter handle, um, which is handled by, uh, by Contributor Experience and, uh, and the, uh, the marketing subproject of Contributor Experience. So very awesome to see us being able to publish uh, updates about the community more frequently uh, to wider, uh, the wider internet. Um, now, the, uh, the triage cap, which popped up, now we have uh, you know, made a lot of improvements in how we kind of decrease the burden uh, for you to maintain your areas, right? And I think part of it is, was introducing this, this triage cap, something that we discussed for, for quite some time to get some of the finer details worked out and apply the automation to, to the process. So hat tip to uh, everyone that was involved. Uh, there across uh, contributor experience as well as uh, as well as the the enhancements uh, sub sub teams and uh, sub project of of sig architecture the ingress uh, the ingress uh, enhancement went ga super exciting uh, long standing enhancement that has been um, has been in beta and uh, and it is one of our earlier enhancements um, so great to see the work around uh, delivering that to uh, general availability. Uh, from the GitHub management side, uh, the GitHub uh, administration management team has been hard at work deprecating the, uh, the Kubernetes incubator uh, org. Uh, all of the projects that are involved in that org, some of them that may have been uh, may no longer be maintained. We built something bigger and better and it lives somewhere else now. So kind of wrangling all of that information and uh, kind of bringing us to the, the sunset of, of the, the incubator org. Now, for some SIG specific updates, we have uh, SIG usability. SIG usability has been driving a user research study that has been uh, that has gotten some really great uh, data to crunch on, and that will be part of their SIG update uh, during the conference. So hat tip to them uh, for one forming over the last year, as well as all of the work that they have done to better understand the people who consume uh, Kubernetes day to day. From SIG multi cluster, uh, the multi cluster service APIs are in progress. They're currently alpha. They represent some solid progress towards normalizing multi-cluster deployments and making the next level of Kubernetes operations uh, more manageable. Um, and that's definitely, you know, that's definitely something that we consider um, with you know, having all of these disparate environments. So hat tip to SIG uh, multi-cluster. Um, from the storage side, the container object storage interface uh, was released um, for both block and file uh, Kate storage, uh, being able to build a similar interface um, for, for object storage is also coming. Um, PSC is, is inbound for that, so we should see that soon. Uh, generic ephemeral volumes uh, were progressed across uh, the last few cycles. CSI support for Windows, which is huge, a uh, huge step forward uh, for Windows support on Kubernetes overall. Um, the volume snapshot feature is also progressed. And um, yeah, so, you know, moving into, uh, moving into SIG Docs, SIG Docs did an awesome job on the website migration, um, more modern theme, uh, easier to maintain for their contributors. Uh, and on the architecture side, um, the production readiness subproject, as well as the PRR reviews as part of KEPS, are now making their way into the release cycle. From the SIG release side, we've been working on uh, tooling to make our lives easier, to make your lives easier, to make it easier to release Kubernetes overall, to make it safer to release Kubernetes, as well as the working group Kate's Infra, who has been hard at work one, you'll hear more about the, uh, the kates.gcr.io cutover from Google infrastructure to community infrastructure uh, during the conference. Um, you'll hear more about the image promotion process, how we're handling artifacts moving forward as we now uh, own those artifacts in, in community infrastructure. And then finally, the, uh, 
the working group uh, naming was formed, right? This, uh, this kind of ties back into um, the, the thought of, of making sure that this project is, is inclusive and being, uh, being thoughtful about the language that we use uh, across both our, our code bases and our, our, and, our, uh, and our content overall. So stay tuned for more details uh, on that later in the conference and a, uh, as well as a uh, community meeting from a new initiative that's happening on kind of the wider uh, community uh, across LF, CNCF, standards bodies, different companies. Um, so stay tuned for that. Thanks everyone, later.